Rounds. Press start to begin. Hello and welcome back to Super Bonus Round. Did I say we're going to uh, Dry Canyon? I lied. We're going to Cliff Town. Ah, uh, I know what's coming. Oh yeah, unfortunately the surprise for this is ruined because Rich yeah. and I, our favorite part of this playthrough so far is in this town and you're going to see why in a second. <laughs> or if you check the Super Bonus Round uh, social media feeds, you already know what's up. And on top of that, the fact that just uh, Spire there looking like a cutie like he is just makes it even better. I just want to have Spyro <laughs> curl, up my, curl up against my feet like a cat and go to, go to sleep. Ooh, ooh. John, speaking of which, um, so I was in Best Buy the other night because I was, um, I was, uh, get, uh, uh, that's the other thing with the car that I was talking about, uh, gotta put, uh, get my, uh, stereo put in because, uh, the original one kind of just took a crap, so, uh, luckily I had an aftermarket one that I, uh, got that I was gonna put in the truck, but, uh, I sold the truck. Uh, so, uh, I'm gonna be getting it put in. So, at the Best Buy, they have this Spyro, um, plushie that makes noise. Oh, it makes And I am so, and if they're there, honestly, I think I'm gonna have to get you and I one. Uh, uh because, like, it, it, let's just, it's, you know, because, like, okay, you know, you have the, oh, God, I just saw, what's his name? The, the, the thief? Yep, yeah, there he is, you son of a bitch. And then your quality went back down like it did in the... Yeah, I don't care. Well, at least I can it's hear you. It's because of my internet. It's because of my internet. Yeah, my internet took a crap uh, the other night when I was streaming Persona, and I didn't know what the hell to do. I, lo I lost footage from a boss fight that was actually kicking my ass, and I didn't get it. I didn't even get it back the night that, that night. I Come here, you son of a bitch. There you go. Egg thief. These guys are easier. I, I, as you guys know, I finished the, the trilogy already. Uh, those guys are easier to fight in this. I've noticed that there's a... I mean, it's not easier. It's just like the difficulty is more balanced in this. Oh, uh, there's our friends. <laughs> <laughs> I love these guys. I know. They don't have arms. I and I love how Spyro kind of looks at them, but, and then he kind of looks away kind of awkwardly, like, okay. He's like, hmm. Just, 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 just like the penguins in Madagascar. Smile and wave, uh, Sparks. Just smile and wave. Yeah, just smile and wave. Just or alternatively. <laughs> And the other guy doesn't even know what happened. What the? Wait. Oh, there you go. No, like no, he didn't. He didn't. There were there three of them. There were three of them. I didn't get. I didn't kill the. Oh. So anyway, um, yeah. Hang on. Let's see what Halvor's gonna say. Supposed to flame metal armor anyway. Remember, Spyro, flame won't work on metal, but charge it with your horns, that should do the trick. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna check it out, uh, tomorrow, but it, and honestly, I think I'd have to get you and I one because it's just like, it's just too adorable, and it makes noise, it talks like him. That would be the best so, Christmas present I could receive. So, like I said, I gotta check again tomorrow to see, uh... I, like I said, when I was there a, about a week ago, there was a bunch of them there, so... I wouldn't be surprised if they're still there. Especially because... You know, you're, you're not gonna see... Like, I saw more Nintendo Switches on the sales floor than anything. So, I'm sure those will be going pretty quickly. Oh, but, yeah, now that Smash is out, those are going to sell, like, hotcakes. Yeah, and, uh, other than that, um, so I wouldn't be surprised. Like I said, I'll be out there tomorrow, see, uh... Actually, so. actually, Smash is out, and that's great and all, and it's selling well, but when Animal Crossing drops, Switch is going to become rare again. <laughs> Because they're like 
Smash is very, very popular, but it doesn't like do, it doesn't do as well as like Animal Crossing or Pokemon. I'll, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. But Animal Crossing, like that, a lot of non-gamers like just like pick that that up as a relaxing game. So that's a lot more people than like hardcore uh, fighters. So when Animal Crossing drops hey, in spring, there's Enzo, and your quality's back. And he didn't say it as nastily as the other guy in the original. The other guy's like, why don't you go over there and find out? I'm like, okay, dickhead. Okay, then. He was he was a lot nicer about it. He was like, why don't you go over there and find out? Like, he's got, like, a little present for us. But we know that he doesn't. <laughs> Whoa! Hey. Man, I liked it better when the feathers came off. That, to me, that's the yeah. funny... To me, that's the funniest thing ever. Like in cartoons, where like a bird gets hurt and the feathers just fly off. I don't know why that's so damn funny. <laughs> oh, here they are again. <laughs> so what I'm going to try and do in, in this playthrough is I'm going to try and knock out two levels per uh, per episode. Um. Spiral one, that'll be easy. Spiral two and three, not so much because the the the, the levels are designed to be like longer and have more content yeah. in them. Because like we, because we lost the footage of the last. Uh, Marco. Uh, hold on. You reached the highest point in Clifftown. You can get to almost anywhere from here. If I were you, I'd use that whirlwind over there. I think that was Robbie Damon, who we'll be hearing a little bit later in the game, or this package oh, yeah. anyway. Oh, speaking of which, new episode, so, uh, time for buns. Yeah, while I, while I collect the rest of, uh, our, <clears throat> tri our bounty here. Oh, look, they're back. <clears throat> ah! <laughs> um, Except in the game, so they squeak. Into, <laughs> so I walked into a toy store to do some early Christmas shopping, and I asked the assistant, where are the on Schwarzenegger dolls? And he said, I'll be back. What the fuck? Because of his famous uh, line, I'll be back from yeah. uh, Terminator. So, I'll be, co comma, back. Fun fact, so, I've never like, watched any of those movies. Yeah, um, it's it's an acquired taste. Not because I, not because I, ha I don't want to, I just never did. Well, no, like I said, like... The original Terminator came out in 87, and I only saw it because it was on a <clears throat> recorded VHS tape that my dad had from back in the 80s, and that's the only, that's the only way I got to see it at the time. And I heard 2 is the best one. Yeah, 2 is, like, the best. Uh... And that came out in the 90. Hey, so that my, was my uh, birth year. And I uh, mine as well. So um, those two were like the best. Or no, wait a minute. Was wasn't it 92? I forget. I I forget. I'd have to go back and look. But uh, either way, the, like the first two were great. Three was all right because it kind of brought a little bit of closure uh and everything after that was just like yeah you should have stopped at three well they tried well the best thing to ever come out of terminator uh genesis is the christian bale rant yeah that's, that's the about only the thing, only though. thing people that's... remember They're like oh is, hey isn't that no. that movie where christian bale lost his temper it's like yeah and then no yeah. one no one remembers the actual movie that it was atta as attached to yeah. So. Which is actually, that actually reminds me. I, um, I saw like a, uh, like a post on like social media or something. A little, I think it might've been actually Tumblr somewhere, which is now a dumpster fire. Let's knock into that though. At the moment, anyway. Rest in peace, Tumblr. Yep. <sighs> but like, I saw something that said like, uh, like what was the highest grossing film the week of your, uh, the week of your birth? 
And I actually do know what film was the highest grossing at the box office when I was born. The Dick Tracy movie, which many people forget it was a thing that happened. Dick Tracy movie? Yeah, Disney did like a uh, adaptation of the Dick Tracy uh, comic book series. And the week it came out, it was the highest grossing. It was the highest grossing film the week that I was born. There is a way to check uh, box office, uh, old box office grosses uh, from like decades back. So maybe you maybe you could find out what, what was. Uh, How is it? I don't actually know. I looked it up years ago, but like, try looking up like highest grossing box office by year. You might be able to find it that way. Oh, I know where the last gems are. They're behind the, the entrance. I'd be interested to know what some of, some of the people I know, like what was the... Highest grossing box office... Movies? Yeah, and like you can like set it by uh, by dates. So like you can look at, look at the weekend. Year. Maybe Maybe in between episodes I'll find you it. I'm, I'm looking at it right, I'm looking right now. Box office hits by decade and year. Yep, that's the one. Let's see. And then you can like look by a week, because it's like a, it's like well, an interesting this... window. It's like an inter interesting window in time to see what was like what was going on at the time when you were born. Because like when you were when you were a baby, you a little babu, you had no idea what the world was like. You you just wanted to go back in, and cry and poop and cry some more and sleep. Really, John. Why? It's, it's a fa it's a fact of life. Yeah, I, 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 I did it too. It started everybody else watching. And hell, if you're a terrible parent and you're putting this on while you're uh, caring for a child, another child that's listening still does it. Wow, Wreck-It Ralph two is uh, still the highest. Uh, at the box office right now. It's an amazing time because it's it, it hasn't been seen. I don't think that's ever been happened, or at least not in a while. That two animated films are uh, have the number the two top two spots at the box office. And as an animator, couldn't be happier. Don't, I don't even care about the quality of the movies in general because I haven't seen The Grinch, but I did see Wreck-It Ralph too. I'm happy that animation is dominating at the moment. I know that will change soon, but. The Grinch will probably keep its spot solely for the fact that it's Christmas right now. All, all alone. Alright, so how long have we been going? Well, I need to find those damn gems. <sighs> oh, here it is. I was gonna say, don't tell me it was just those two. Because that would that would have that pissed me off. Damn it. That's right, you don't you can't hover in this one. I've been playing two and three for the last several weeks, so that trips me up. Oh, I love this ability. Sparks pointing where the treasure is. There we go. There we go. Uh, I don't know if I can squeeze one more level in. Probably not. Any luck finding what was uh, a top grossing um, when you were? Hang uh, on, hang on. Because I'm about I'm about to wrap the episode up. If uh, if you're not any, any close. Well, if anything, we could just we could just continue in the next. Uh... Why don't you guys find out the answer next time on the Super Bonus Round? So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. See ya.